Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to Port Royal 3. Now, I know it's been a little while since the video came out, and since school started back up, enough said. And, um, my friend said that the playthrough wasn't good, and let's be honest, it sucked. But they said that I could try a tutorial. Now, if you need to do the tutorial, just play this. This is more than enough. This explains everything really well. But you don't need it if you're really, like, adaptable and stuff. Or if you just need to learn about fighting and pirating and privateering. Then you'll come to this one. And then that's it. That's your campaign. Tutorials. As far as I know of. But if you want to just play free play, you don't want to stick through the tutorial because it's got lots and lots and lots and lots of talking. Like a lot like a 15 minutes worth of talking in the first 10 minutes of gameplay then you might want to watch this and then you might just start playing straight away because you can guess what you gotta do but if you want your easiest first gameplay play through then just jump onto the biggest nation because that just means better economy and stronger navy so your ships are your water's generally a bit safer, or say something like Holland against pirates and stuff, so it helps a little bit. Um, choose whatever town you want, really, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know, I'm just literally just watching this go through. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, it's just whichever nation has the biggest thing. Details. Put everything to the like norm, normal, 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 and then all oh, 60. Everything, like, see, events, fire, locust, storms, often, very often, there's no less, so you can't make that stuff easier, it's at its minimum. Leave it at standard instead of random because that will make it easier for you to learn the game trades and stuff instead of starting a new game and it'll changing every time. I'd leave that and that as the starting things. Just so you get understand what you got to do, because if you turn this up to 10, instead of at one ship losing 100 a day, you're losing 1,000 a day. And if you don't understand the game and pick it up from the get-go straight away, with 10 ships, you could lose easily a lot of money. Like, my first gameplay, I lost like 20,000 in 15 minutes, you see that. And this, well, this increased, like, this is like starting production businesses and stuff, and starting the defenses. Late game, it could have a bit more of an impact when you're trying to annex towns or take them over by force but just for now I just leave it at a thousand that way they produce some stuff but not so much that the economy constantly overgoes regular use so you've got your settings set you've got your name and sex and flag hopefully and so I started here now the first thing you want to do click this symbol that's your ship so, my ship is the starting brick thing, whatever that is. So, if you go to organize, it's a. How do you pronounce that word? Penice? Pinis? Pinnits? No, whatever it is. They, they have a word for it, I can't say. Never could. It, your starting ship will always look like this 200 cargo, one ship, 100% health, 8 cannon, 10 sailor speed thingy. Zero attack, zero sailors. Now, sailors and that. You just want to forget that for now. You literally want to familiarize yourself with the screen. Now, your trading is consist of dragon sliders everywhere. With this, so you simply just click that item, it brings this up. This, this, and this, these two here will be your main screens here. This is all you want to focus on for now. This is the state, uh, this is the state, this is the town town's information, so what it produces, people, defense, like country, how many businesses you're in here. All this stuff here, just forget about that for now, you don't need it. Straight off the bat. But what you want to take an interest in down the list is things with more than one green bar. If it has a green bar, it means it's got a surplus in the town, and they'll sell it cheaper, so you see the price in the middle, as I buy more and more of it, it goes up and up, as trading does. You buy a lot from a store today, they probably raise their prices a little bit so that you don't buy so much. Hence why Target sells everything for like 80% price off. Um, nothing, just, just ignore that. 
And then you and then you just go to another town. And then you look at the thing and you go, oh, they've got no green. Let's sell here. I sell the, they don't want to buy it. You still can't sell the target there, so that's alright. So that's a green. Now some amount of trader might go, okay, that's alright. They've got a surplus, so I'll buy three and push it back into red. So if you want, you can delve into the red, but then you quickly go into going past the 100% price into, into like, you sell it anywhere at normal price, you start losing money. So, you want to, I'd recommend staying at one green bar, because that just seems easy, like, you know that you're not risking going into loss. And then, you sell to another town, and you just repeat the process. Very slow, very tedious, but it makes money. Oh, don't. Now, this is, like, the point where you just buy extra stuff. You don't really sell there. No, oh, I'd do that. So then you buy it back there. Then you sell to the next town, and you repeat. Now, just make a note that when you start off, your price is... See, let's go down here. Let's go down province. I don't think that does... Uh, does coffee. Um... Now you want to come over here. So this is your ship's information, your storage, so it's new storage. Jack can extend it, so it's not like you can only hold 12. That's your attacking screen. We'll leave that for later episode, because that's privateering and pirating. This is your convoy statuses. Most of this stuff won't change, okay? Maybe repairs and your speed or handling might do a little bit if you sell for a lot. But this is your income, or your, not income, your tax. So how much you're going to pay for the ship to run. That should stay at 100 for a long time until you put sailors and additional ships in. So you shouldn't touch that just at the moment. And this is your trading room. This is going to be your best friend for starting off and all the way through the late game. So I'm going to buy more coffee here. So this is what you want to do really. Like just keep trading, keep trading. And then when you go, this is really slow and boring, and I've only made 5,000 in what, 10 days? My month, whatever it is, when did we start? So they want wood, so these guys produce wood. Now, a good way to make money, a lot faster than what I was doing, is buy stuff, and then look for when the symbols are, because these symbols are, I need this, so if it's brown, or green, like that, more colored it is, I believe, the more it's wanted, so. Let's see if these guys have a few dyes, no. Port Royal, they need dyes. I know they produce dyes up here on the air. That's, that's... No, it was French, it was up here. Dyes, see? See what happens when you play this game on normal. You just know where stuff is. I believe you guys are producing wheat, no? No, it was bananas. Close. You guys produce wood. You guys produce metal. Come to comp no scissor. Scissor produces metals. Now remember, see, like you just play this game, you get used to it. Like, okay, this place needs metals, <clears throat> but this place produces wood and brick as well as campeche, wood and brick. I know what this is. Like, once you start playing random, you just get used to the fact that it just changes constantly. Um. So if you come up here, if you get dies, let's say you've bored, you've made four grand in a month. Your next best friend. Wait, what was the first best friend? I don't know. Whoever the first friend was, this one's practically as good as him. They'll bring up the screen. First word, just follow it exactly what it is. Find a bunch of towns, just click on them. Doesn't matter what happens, just click. Like until you get a path like that. Okay, maybe a bigger path, because a bigger path is better. But, you can only hold 18 towns, so... Keep that in mind, like... I can hold 3 more, like up here, 25 days per trip, so until I do a round trip. And it takes through, through 15 cities. I can only go to 18, so keep that in mind. Then immediately go from Prosperity to Profit, and just click Activate Route. And, like, we'll do one lap, so we'll just follow the ship around. C2. Now this takes about 25 days, so you're looking just under a month. Now, if you were to go through here, it'd take you like two weeks to get through 18 towns. But if you were to go between all your 18 warehouses across the world, it could take two months to do a trip. That kind of thing. So, and hence, I'll probably have like one convoy here, 
Then I'll get another concrete and I'll probably do a sweep here. And I'll have one that does a big sweep through here partly. And I'll have one that comes through here. And then I'll start interwinding them as the suit the warehouses. So like as you start getting more and more towns of businesses. That will come at a later date. And that's just if you like just want to have lots of convoys and start to start off. So you can already see I've made profit. So this is his last tour. That's how much profit he's made in his last tour. Now that can jump anywhere from positive 30 to negative 30, but you gotta think that he's lost 30,000 gold in his trip, but he's also gained money during that trip, so it's not like you lost 30,000, your coin just drops 30,000. It's over time, and it just jumps up and down pretty alright. And then you just wanna do this for a while, and that's it. That's how you start. You're not going to lose money. Don't forget to grab those things. Those are just tough. And you go activate root, and you'll go back to doing it. So I just found a thousand dollars. Like, and you get later again. You can find like two hundred grand. And you're like, meh, I've got ten mil. But um, see, that's all it really is. Like, you just look. I just made four thousand. So I started at thirty six. Um, if you click that little scroll button up here. You can come to the screen here. I'm not gonna go through everything really quickly. So that's just your convoys, vessels that are not part of the convoys, towns you own, like pop, uh, pros how the people like you, and your businesses, your advisor telling you what's happening in towns and stuff. That's a useful screen for later on. But that appears up there too. Your trading routes, so this is where your trading details come in. And for the last part of this episode, I'll show you this. But um, this will be a good screen to look at when you've got the four convoys doing laps around the world, or more. Because, just going, okay, that's one convoy, okay, one here. Um, where's this ship? Okay, flick through to sailing, 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 sailing. Okay, this ship's going through here. Okay, he's made 36,000 in his last trip. And you go to the next ship and you're like, oh, that lost 24,000, that's a bad route. But every other time he's made 50,000 plus, he's just had a bad run. And then come to this screen. It shows you where the ship is, you click there. Currently selected Go away. Boy does not have a warship. Yeah, that was good. That's a good way to just shut him up. It's just like, okay, I'm going this way. But he just talks and talks and talks and talks during the tutorial, so... Can you just load already? Really? Like me, I just talk and talk and talk. Oh, where are we? Okay, back to here. This is your thing, you can click there, it'll take you to the ship. Be in well because it doesn't do anything. Um, that's the amount of towns he has. Days since he started his last tour, I believe. His profit on that last tour. Days until he finished the last tour, sorry, I should get that right. So we flick through another one. It should be 16, no. Okay, that should be 25 then, that's a glitch, maybe, I don't know. Shut up, it's an all game. That's the stock he's bought in the last trip, so he bought 79 stock. And he sold 64 stock. And then his max has been 93, but that's not counting the trip, because you see me going buying stuff that's impacted on that. His average load's about 80. So, if I was to look at that, so if I shut down this and look over here, he's carrying about 80. 162, so his next trip it might jump up to 120. You get the idea. The main information you want to look at would probably be that in a nutshell for like your last trips. It's like, okay, I'm losing money. Flying through, okay, this is what's cost me money. I've lost three out of four runs with money. But this is where you'll want to pay a lot of attention. <clears throat> Average profit per day. Your best thing, like every day passes, I'm looking on average about 800 plus. Take 100 for like telling him to sail around and stuff and repairs and stuff. <laughs> that will come into later day, and then that's how long he's been running to it. If we go to details, you can see his purchases and sales and stuff. So for $7,000 worth of goods he's purchased, he's made 20000 back. His upkeep and repairs are there, but that will just keep ticking over until it's like a hundred million, thousand, billion, quintillion. And that's just further on altogether. 
And that's all it is, really. Like, you see me, I, like, I've been talking, I've been trading, I've been sitting here. A hurricane here is raging through talking. the Caribbean. Just caught in a hurricane, suffer more damage it, it, than it, their it. normal wear and tear. Hurricanes <laughs> also <laughs> cause severe storms and affect the production of goods whenever they sweep over a city. Yeah, quite a Yeah, just stay out of those. Like, this, it really doesn't matter. You can just pay for it. They're just double degradation, so double upkeep on repair. But that's like, look at me, like, what if I do? I talked, like, the first bit I made five grand, I set up the road cinema on it, and then I just talked about how it works and stuff. And I've made 40 grand, like, it's not that hard. I mean, finding, like, knowing the trade routes and stuff, that took me a little while, like, I was just messing around, I found it. I'm like, oh, let's, like, this profit. Okay, I did this, and then, like, five minutes later, I was like, oh, man, I've got second ship now. Okay, that's easy, it's a lot different from number two, as far as I know, because I literally went and trading and trading, and I make half a million just trading back and forth between two towns. And then I get sunk by a pirate, and they'd be like, oh. And they sunk your ship in that game, that, that was, like, annoying. Um, let's just have a quick run through everything else. Yeah. From the start, prosperity. Um, this is, like, how the town likes you, or dislikes you, the town's folk, in fact, so... If you're looking to build a new town, you have to get the people's... Like, it ties to sell this stuff to that town. And you'll see that the... Like, that the, the farm stuff seems how much people like you. You'll... That will increase that a lot. As well as that, which is the town's, like... Is it, like, having a good time? Is it running on products? Is people leaving? Is it having an overflow of products? Good trade and stuff? people are going to come in, and that's going to affect how the population grows and changes, as well as the spare settlers and stuff for sailors. Again, that's a later point, I'll come back to it. Um, profit, practically prosperity, where it focuses on going, get, going, getting and like buying and selling items that's going to make you more money than what a town might need, so instead of selling them to go, they might, oh, cotton now. They might sell them tools. They might have a few tools, but you might be able to get a higher profit per tool. As you see here, in this case, um, if the convoy is large enough, uh, he will trade all the goods which you can buy low and sell high. So he'll just eventually just buy out towns that are cheap down to the normal price and just sell them where he can. So that becomes a prosperity thing. Again, getting you happy there with the people and then getting a good trade and getting a better population swing. Um, wrong one. The next one, that one there, at a later date, you will use this. He will, like, like if I had a business in here, which I'll probably cover next less, uh, next tutorial, episode, lesson, thingy, whatever you want to call it. I've lost my shit now. Okay, then. Let's click that. See, simple. He's over in Tampico. Oh, I don't have to get rid of Sorry. This is just gonna make it, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> what a weird name. So if I go empty warehouses. No wonder why I'm losing money now. I'm just not doing anything. Okay, I can't avoid a meter. Oh well, I'm not gonna save this anyway. Um, empty warehouses. That, if you have a business and, like, I have my business down here. And can come, can can however you want to say it. And I I want to instead of selling all the goods there because they've got ten thousand plus because I just build fifty of everything as soon as possible and just overstock the market. I can take my ship so it'll be like okay he starts here and he just empties everything. He'll just take everything he can out of the warehouse and just sell it across that route. And you'll just do it again and again. That's a good one. I use that later when I've only got one. And then it comes to this one where I've got like multiple business. Sorry, I've moved over there because it makes wood, iron, and then tools. This one makes wood, some brick, corn, and then meat. Over here it makes such, such, such. Da di da di da. So I'm going to sell multiple things. I'll use this one instead so it moves necessary materials between warehouses, which is going to cost me money because I've got to pay to move it, but I don't get anything out of it. Apart from the products it will make, and then that's sold separately, so. Technically, you're losing out for that. But it also sells it 
in between towns. So like this town needs wood, but I need wood over here. I might sell half there and just half there, etc., etc. I don't use this because generally my first town or second town I build in has either both wood and brick, wood or brick, and then I just mass produce ten of each in that respective area. So I produce like a thousand wood every month, and then I just move that around. I don't use that one because that's pretty much supply. It doesn't sell to your towns, it focuses on getting products to your warehouses. But if you just want to do that, you could simply just do sell and supply, just make the route between your warehouses. So I don't use that one. I don't use that one either. I don't understand why, but I think it just offloads them on the first warehouse on the route. I don't even know what it does. And then that one's just a complicated thing all together that I haven't tried to tackle. And that's it, basically. This is Sailor and Prophet, hold the spacebar, watching it ten times and going, Yep, this is fun. No, really, it's fun. Like, you just watch ships go everywhere and you see, I made 44 grand and I don't even know where ship is. Villa Heroin. Veracruz. And that's it. Like, look, I just made more money. Like, you come back here. I'm making an average 1,400 a day, so 1,300 because the costs are used. At this point, you consider buying a second ship. And then just adding that to your convoy. And because you need more ships, let's be honest, 200 cargo isn't enough, 40 sailors isn't enough, and 7 cannons isn't enough when you get to pirateering and privateering and protecting yourself from either. It's just not enough. So, we'll go to the dock and I'll show you how to buy a ship. And then I think I'll wrap it up. Or else it's going to turn into a 40 minute video that goes split in two again. So, all your major cities, like capital cities and stuff, they generally have more people. Like all the small towns, 900,000. Your capital cities generally have a little symbol above their heads, and they'll have something like this 36,000, 250. I want something with. I'll probably buy both of these so I can have an extra. You have a free on. ship in port so I just spent 70 grand. And Before you can send the ship out, these two ships, if you select them, to an you can form com convoys, as that guy is saying, one. which are separate ships, so I can set this guy to do this route, and then I can send that guy to do that route, and I can send another convoy and make him to do this area, that kind of thing. But because you generally need three ships, four ships to have a thousand cargo so you can do efficient trading, you're just going to come to the harbour master, which is a little lighthouse thingy here, very lighthousey. The airy lighthousey, <laughs> and then you just like if you just only got one, this will come up. If you got multiple, they'll get out. But it's quite easy to work out. Harbor to this combi, to this convoy, to this convoy, etc. etc. But you just want to move it all over, and that's it. Like you see, 700 thing now. I can trade 700. So if you go back to the map, <clears throat> and I go activate tour, and I hold space for a little longer. I'll go straight to the next town, which is up here. Corpus Christi. Christi. I am such bad with names. Such bad, so about, so 100, 200, 197. And that's it, your profit's just gonna s go up, because you can just buy and sell more. And that's it. That's all you really need to know. And this is the point where you could start delving into buying another permit to build residence and storehouse and then buying the final permit to build like things such as your businesses, your wood, your like if I was to build here in cane gum, I could build sugar cane farm, corn farm oh, excuse me. And then I could build a ham farm which requires corn. I can also build that which requires wood to make iron for some reason. And then I can make coffee which requires tools and stuff like that. And that could be my businesses and I can make money using that. Furthermore, you notice no warehouse or convoy, but I can go into Cancom despite my fact that my ship's up here. Use this to your advantage if you want to, like, be really economical and, like, have a bit of fun with your second ship and stuff. And you want to buy a ship and do specific things with that town and other towns. 
Oh, and the little symbols look like that. That's the gov. Like that's the like overall viceroy guy. He's like the top top person. And then you got governors, which are like, okay, I do this little area. If you want to buy a town off me, you do it during him. But if you want to go to war or something, you go to this guy. Or you want to do something really good for the thing. But you need like 70% rep, so worry about that later. Um, I think I should wrap it up here. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial on Port on Royal 3.